What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'll basically be seeing what happens when you play Sega Saturn in 2017. So this console actually came out in, uh, I believe it was about 1995. So basically we're just going to be, this is my first time playing one. We're just going to plug it in, start it up, see what happens, you know, see, see what it's like. It's going to be a different experience from, you know, the PS4 and Xbox One these days. But it'll be interesting. So let's go ahead and start this console up. And you know, see see what it's like playing Sega Saturn in 2017. So first of all, here's a controller. I need to plug it in. I don't even know which way it goes. All right, so got the controller plugged in. Got a game over here to try in a little bit. Uh, if you don't know how to turn it, open it up. Press this button. Oh no, that's that's a reset button. Press this button, and that's where you put the disc in. But first, let's just start it up. So there's the light it turns on. And all right, so first thing we do is set up the language. So we can already you can already hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can already hear that, you know, classic buzz buzzing sound uh that, you know, old games played or had just cuz of the TV and the sound of it. So we got six buttons on here. Um I'm going to assume I press A on this. Yep. English exit. Ooh, set a clock. <laughs> the original clock is set for January 1st, 1994. Yeah, that's crazy. Don't mind my PS4 over there. All right, so uh, let's say it's it is December. I'm not even sure what today is. I think it's like the 18th or something. I'll probably release this video later than the 18th, but it's all right. Uh, let's go. It keeps going. So yeah, let's go 2017 press A or maybe not oh, I gotta press this side again uh, yeah let's just go to 12 a.m. why not and I press A again nice not sure if you could hear that I didn't have the volume very loud but oh what is that what is this this is an interesting menu kinda looks just like a you know like a CD player or something let me back up so you can see the whole thing. So we got nine different icons. Drive empty. Oh, never mind. I'm not even looking at the right thing. So set CD plus G channel. What in the world is that? System settings. Hide controls. Skip forward. Play. Plot, pause. Skip backwards. Repeat. Stop. And advanced controls. All right. Let's see what's in the system settings. So we got the clock, language, memory manager, and other settings. Let's see what's in other. Got kind of a cool menu. They got some cool animations, you know. Button labels. Yeah, stereo, sound effects. Sure. Wow. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Uh, <laughs> I just tried to imitate the sound it makes when you go to different menus. Let me turn up my volume real quick. All right, so let's go back. Man, I can get this controller. There we go. Exit. So what else we got? I don't know what this is. Let's try it out. What in the world? Three. All right, I think this has something to do with setting the channel on your TV that it plays on, or some. It probably has something to do with you know something that you had to deal with back when you played on old T CRT TVs. I don't know. Who knows? This is beyond my knowledge. Um, so hide controls. Oh. What in the world? What is a spaceship? Why is there just a spaceship flying around on the screen? It's kind of cool. <laughs> this is actually really unexpected. I did not expect a menu this this quite this advanced. All right, so let's look at the advanced controls. So we can adjust vocals, program sequence. It won't even let me select it. Adjust surround, shuffle tracks, show time elapsed. Scan intros, clear all settings, repeat, A, B, basic controls. All right, that was interesting. <laughs> a lot of random features on here. All right, let's see what happens when we put the uh, the actual game in. I'm wondering, I don't know if it'll like automatically boot up or if I have to select it or what. And, oh, that's kind of cool. It makes a, 
whenever you open it up, it makes a little chiming noise. So let's see if I can trigger it again. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, this thing was advanced. I have never played a Sega Saturn or even seen one in person, but it's kind of cool. Checking disc format. All right, so it says it has 22 tracks. I'm not sure sure what that means, but you have to play it like this. All right, guys, I just stopped the track. It started playing some like music or something. I have no idea why. I don't know what's going. On. Oh, there's the start application button. Yeah, I pressed this and I just started playing some like some uh, song from the game. It's kind of funny. All right, so let's actually start the uh, game. <laughs> For a second, I was thinking this thing was just like a CD player or something because I put it in and pressed the, the play button and it just started playing music. But yeah, now I figured out that it's just it actually does play the random tracks from the game, which is kind of cool. Kind of random, but it's pretty cool. For a thing from 1995, can't complain. Alright, so I just opened up this game I have. Um, I'm not going to show the uh, startup, startup uh, screen that comes up because play some music I don't want to get copyrighted or anything there's a lot of different modes so I see the games working that's all about all we need to see here let's try this reset button and it does what we expect pretty cool startup screen not gonna lie starts are pretty fast too nice uh, so I'm thinking it's about to start up the game again or something Alright guys, so it did, when I pressed restart, it did actually start up the game again. So, I just pressed reset again, and I had to open the disc tray so it doesn't automatically start the game. Because I don't want that to happen. So yeah, this is pretty neat. I'm uh, actually pretty impressed. It's got some cool features. Uh, it can play, I guess it can play CDs. I don't know if it can play DVDs or not. Maybe so. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments if you know this thing can play DVDs or not. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty pretty impressed by this thing so far. Got some cool features, cool menu, lots of different uh, settings you can enable. Pretty advanced for uh, 1995. And then the best part is when you hide the controls and a random spaceship starts flying through. Nice. Alright guys, so that's about it. Now you know what happens when you play a Sega Saturn in 2017. Uh, plays pretty normally, but it's got some got some cool features to it. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys have a great day.